Hey there everyone, I'm GamerWolf290 and today I'm going to be playing as Artanis in Heroes of the Storm. This is just a brief match, it's going to be a bots game. Um, it's basically going to, I'm, this is my first game with them, so I'm getting to know his talents and all that. I got him a week in advance thanks to the Legacy of the Void pre-order. So let's see how it goes. I kind of hate the fact that I was in queue for so long that it reduced the AI difficulty for some of the people and it only gave me my adept. So this is, once again, it is a brief rundown of his abilities. I'm just trying to get the hold of the character. He is fun. I played a few games with him. Me and a friend played a PvP match. He's really fun. I like the character a lot. Um, the downside to him is he seems squishy, but he's really not. If you watch him, he's more of a bruiser instead of a tank, unlike what most people thought he would have been, because he's kind of like a zealot from StarCraft. But he's fun, so let's see what we got here. Okay, we got me, Kerrigan, Gazlo, Sonya, and Brightwing. Oh my god. I completely forgot I was landing with Brightwing in this game. So let's look at his talents. He has most of his talents focus on his blades and his prism. His prism is really good. I like it. It switches places with people, so that way you're like, hey, I'm gonna grab this guy. So basically throws them into your team if you watch it, but be careful not to throw yourself into the enemy team. Uh, twin blades basically allows him to attack twice, and his blade dash does some damage on the way forward but does almost triple damage on the way back. So, it was... The character is really fun. Uh, his ults depend on his situation you're in. Like, if you're finding a team of pure assassins, they basically depend on their auto attack. Uh, you can blind them with a blind ult. Yeah, doing a little twist. Um, his other ult, I like it. It's good for if you engage in a team fight where there's stuns everywhere. See, there's the display of the of the blade dash and the switching twin blade combo. I kind of got a hang of quickly. Uh, it's really fun to blade dash. You can blade dash through buildings, which is good because I did it in a PvP match and I blade dashed and took someone out on the other side of the building, which was great. That's the other downside right there. I just got shot by towers. The blade dash does not make you invincible. You can still be stunned. You can still be hit. You, you basically can still get... You're not unstoppable. You're still vulnerable to anything. You can still get hooked by Stitches or Sonya. You can still get stunned by Misha and all those other stuns. That's the only downside to it is you can still get stunned. Uh, we're fighting false at an Uther. This, I didn't like the fact that this was a. These AIs up here were beginners, because since you're in queue for so long, and bots, if you're in queue for so long, it matches you up with other players but that's not selected the difficulty you pick. I picked Adept if I'm trying to learn a new champion, that would give me a minor challenge. But this was just like. This does not display Artanis' skills very well. I'm just like, oh my god. Like, he's really fun. I I like him. His trait, he gains a shield after 50% health. And you just, if you keep staying in combat, that shield re reduction goes down based on your attacks. So, there's that save. There it goes again. I switched. And then Sonya left me. She left me. What a jerk. I've come to know Artanis for his uh, walk with a purpose. He's just like, I'm going to kill someone and I'm going to enjoy it. See, look at that walk. You do not mess with someone that has a walk like that. Oh, we got Oop. They're attacking our buildings again. Oh, uh, that's also if you anyways thinking, hey, can I phase prism him through the gate? No, you can't. It just pulls them up to the gate. It doesn't pull them through. So that's that, but <laughs> you can switch places with them on their gates, which is what I don't get. I don't get at all. The face prism basically use that if they're trying to run away. 
Uh, it'll, because it'll put them on the other side of you. Don't try to use it as a poke or a grab because it does not have a very good range from what I learned. And those of you who are wondering, oh, can I control the blade dash? Can I control it when I stop? No, you cannot. That is the thing because my friend, he tried doing it with Artanis and kind of went back into the middle of the enemy team got himself killed. Sorry about that. I hate to point that out for you, Shane. And then there's that again. You can get, like I said, you can get out quickly, but you gotta remember it's gonna throw you right back in the middle of the action. Which is the other downside. And now we got spiders up, which is kind of good because I do a few little things here um, <laughs> that lets me take advantage of the spider queen. See, I switched Uther right there. That was I, I like that. The fact that I can I tell made him go into the Spider Queen's special attack. It does a lot of damage to heroes. People don't realize it, but it does do a good bit of damage. Like I said, his talents base is based on his blades and his face prism mostly. See, I just killed Gazler right there with the laser before he even got up. Um, the laser does follow. But it doesn't. It follows at a reduced speed. So if your your target's not stunned, they can easily outrun it. And then also, if it kills the champion, it's just gonna sit there. So try to make sure you use it in the middle of a team fight, or if you know you have somebody stunning people, like a Diablo old or Tyrande stun or something. And then Uther trying to pick a fight with me. Artanis, I I bursted down in a Zebo. It was great because late game Artanis can do a lot of damage if you build him right. See right there, we just easily destroyed an Uther's health because Sonya and Artanis are both bruisers, so they can both do that. The gems are mine. My warriors. Warriors. A bold plan. That walk with a purpose though, man. Golly. I completely forgot right there that bosses uh don't that you can't capture siege camps after you activate the spiders. I'm just like, good god, it's been a while. It's been about a few weeks since I played heroes, so I could see there's the laser right there, it just sits there now. But it still does this damage if anybody walks into it, which is really, really good. I like that fact. I think this is where we just straight up push the win. I don't remember. I think it is. I don't remember. But I remember this wasn't a this was a very quick match, because it was basically me doing just learning Artanis, getting used to his abilities and all that, and learning his traits. Because at level 16, his blades, he has three talents for his blades. One, you can do like a zealot charge from StarCraft 2, or you can set it to where it does more damage on heroes, or you can set it to uh, the final strike of the twin blades uh, makes them vulnerable, which increases damage by 25%, I think it is, by everything. So basically, that's good for team fights. If you're trying to burst someone down quickly, you're like, hey, I want to kill this tank, I want to vulnerable blade him with my twin blades, boop, dead. It kind of helped a lot because we, I had a PvP match where I was fighting a Artanis with an Avatar hugging him all game, and oh my god, that was the most annoying thing I've ever seen in my life. Because you already get the shield from Avatar, then you also get the shield from Artanis' low health. So it was kind of ridiculous. See, there it is right there, the grab, and the tank's just like, oh great, I'm screwed. Then again, it is also a bot tank, which is kind of even more, kind of even more ridiculous to say. That laser does do a lot of damage if it just sits there and focuses on people. So, like I said, it's good to use it in the middle of a team fight. See right there, and that's the good thing about the face frozen. You can just throw them back in the middle of your team instead of them all trying to run around each other. Trip. 
God, I love that Blade Dash so much. The one thing I liked about Artanis, they didn't make him too outrageously strong. They made him just the right amount of balance, and then they made the sound effects on all his abilities really, really good. I liked them a lot. But it was a. Uh, I learned him pretty quickly. This was my first match with him. But that is just a, like a minor layover of Artanis, his talents and everything. Sorry I couldn't quickly go through. I just re I didn't realize how quickly I picked out his talents throughout the match. But basically with Artanis, be careful with what you do. Don't dash in and all that. Um, watch what you do with the face prism for God's sakes. Watch what you do with that. Because that will get you killed quickly if you try to use it as a poke. I did really good hero damage in that match. I was surprised at how much I did. Of course, Sonya had the most because she's Sonya. So that's that. I'm going to be trying to make a little highlight video of uh, me and my friends playing as Artanis. Both of us played as them a few times. So I'm Wesley, GamerWolf290. That is Artanis in Heroes of the Storm. He's available now if you pre-order Legacy of the Void, and he'll be available next week. Y'all have a wonderful day, everyone. See ya.